welcome all of you, Nana here, and then uh, we are into a new training program on uh, fusion order management as well as a uh, product data hub. Fine, these two models are going to be covered in about approximately seven weeks' time, seven weekends actually. So let me go on the share my screen and then start my activity. So here, if you are able to see the recording icon, uh, uh, what happens if you be the, you sure that it is not recorded now? So the first activity is what you go there and then open up the URL and put drive.google.com. Drive.google.com. So in the drive.google.com, on the left hand side, you will now find one shared with me. Before this, what happens? You go to the right hand side. On the right hand side, what happens? You click on the icon and then see to it that you are in the appropriate shared mail ID actually. Whatever mail ID you have given to me. So you choose that mail ID on the right hand side. Is it clear? So on the right hand side, first of all, you have to choose the mail ID. You click on the what happens, the icon. In the top right side, right hand side top icon, and then choose the mail ID. Dilip, are you able to see it now? Fine, Dilip, sorry. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Choose the first of all your mail ID now. Okay. So after having chosen the mail ID, you click on the shared with me on the left hand side. Fine. So whereas uh, for me, it will not come. If you click on the shared with me, it will not show you this. No, fine. If you go to the my drive, fine. If you click on the shared with me, it will not show you the Fusion OM PDH 4th May 24. Dilip, are you able to see it now? On the shared with me. Uh, yeah, yes, I'm checking it. Uh, Click on the shared with me. You will be able to see this. This four. Uh, yes, yeah, I can see it. Yeah, I can see it. Now. This is what I told. You. Fine, fine. Anybody has got any doubts on this? No, about how to see this? No, fine. If you click on the shared with me on the left hand side, you can see this Fusion OM PDH fourth May twenty four. Anybody has got any doubts? Please now itself you ask me. Please also check from your side whether you are able to see it. Drive.google.com on the right hand side. You go there and then change your mail ID to whatever you're given to me. Fine. Whatever you're given to me, that mail ID you have to choose. And then afterwards, click on the shared with me. And then you will be able to see Fusion OM PDH 4th May. Can somebody say yes to me that this is now clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Fine. Yes. Clear enough? It's not clear. Now, I open it up. So once when I double click on it, I'm opening it up. So now what happens if you go on and see, I have made a wrong statement here, actually. I made a wrong statement here. So if you go there, right click and then properties. If you go to the properties, it is not saying 31 GB. Actually, it is not 31 GB. It is approximately 45 GB. Fine, it's very huge actually. I will come to it. I will not tell you what, why it's so not. So the Fusion OMPDH is approximately 45 GB in size actually. Fine. So it needs patience to download actually. So if you go there, if you click on it, if you double click on it, one more Fusion OMPDH will be coming. Fine. If I again double click on it. So if I double click on it, you'll be able to see five folders here and then three documents. Five folders and three documents. Sometimes what yes. happens, they may not be visible at all. For some of them, only four folders or three folders will be visible and then only two documents will be visible. Fine. Or all of you are able to see all the five folders and three documents. Anybody is not able yes, to Yes, I am able to see. Yes, yes. yes. No, no, I want, who is not able to see, please answer. If anybody is not able to see five folders and three documents, please answer. Okay, nobody has answered. That means what? He's able to do it now. <clears throat> Srini, are you there in the meeting? Yes, I am. I don't have the <laughs> Google Drive link. Google Drive link? What happens? You please again tell me. Say, you go to drive.google.com. I know, but then only I can... You go to the this. shared with me on the left-hand side. Yeah. Oh, you go to the shared with me on the right-hand side. What happens if you go there? You click on it and then choose the mail ID you are given to me for sharing it. You are given a I, Yahoo mail ID, isn't it? Or what? No, Gmail. I gave you the Gmail. Well, okay. But, right. You choose the but, Gmail first of all on the right hand side. Yeah, yeah. That is true, Nana. But once you, you know, I can only share if I say share with me, right? You once again, once again. Then you click on the shared with me on the left hand side. If you click on the shared with me on the left hand side, are you able to see the Fusion OM PDH 4th May available for no. you? you wish it? I don't, no, I don't see it. One second, let me stop the recording. Right. I will now pause the recording. Okay, fine. So now what happens? You are able to see this now. Fine. Fusion OM PDH 4 to me. So if I double click on it, what happens? You'll be having one more thing will be coming, one more uh, directory will be coming. If you double click on it, you'll now see five folders and three docs. I hope that everybody is clear on this. Fine. So the total size is not 31 GB, it is approximately 45 GB. I will tell you about how it's so. 
So first thing is what? I go to the other documents and records. Right? I go to the other documents and records. First one, I will not tell you. Right? Go to the other documents and records. So this folder, I'm going over there. So in this one, what happens, we have got advanced fulfillment. In fact, what happens, uh, my student, I was attending this order management training in, uh, uh, in the headquarters, fine, in uh, Redwood Shows, California. My colleague was attending this training fine, in the advanced fulfillment. Fine. It's a beautiful one. Fine. Yeah, and then uh, his recording he has given to me. Fine. It's a beautiful one. You can go to the advanced fulfillment and then learn fully. Fine. Double click on it. So if you double click on it, you'll be finding a training session recording. Fine. Double click again. So you will not find a lot of things, but you will not have any icon at all. So there are five days of session. Now, fine. One, two, three, four, five. Always in the name, what happens? You go there and then you click on the name and then there is an error mark. Fine. Click on it and then you will know what happens. You will be able to sort it out. Fine. One, two, three, four, five. You will be able to sort it out. So let me show this folder in my in my hard drive. So go there. I will now open up. Open up. I go to the other 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 recording now. Other documents and records. I go to the advanced fulfillment fine, go to the training session recording. So this was all recorded on FBR actually. Fine. This is called what happens. This thing. So you will not be able to read it at all. Fine. You will not be able to read it at all. Fine. So I will not try. You will not be able to read it. So there is a uh, installation file given. If you double click on it, you will not be able to read it. Fine. Double click on it. If I try to what happens, you know, say which application you had to use. So first of all, install it. Fine. You click on it and then install it. Then only we can watch all the files. All the five records on the advanced fulfillment and accounting on 01 now. Fine. I will, uh, you have to install it. Fine. Double click on the install. I'm double clicking it and then I'm going to install it. I already installed and I uninstalled it also. Now, what happens? I'm not going to install before you actually. I'm installing it. So, once when I install it, you will now find an icon coming up on this. Fine. All these things will be a flashback player actually. So, this is a licensed product. So, the free version is available only for 10 days actually. Fine. Click on next now. Fine. I accept terms. Fine. Click on next. The free version is available only for 10 days again. So click on next. So it gets installed. It gets installed. Click on next. Fine. It's all there. Fine. Click on finish. I have finished it. Now what happens? I go there. You have to restart the machine basically. Fine. Once when the installation is complete, what happens? You have to restart. Now you see your free trial ends in 11 days. It's now saying. So what you do is after 11 days, you uninstall and then reinstall. I will not give a continued trial. Are you all clear? Anybody can say yes to me. Is it clear now? Hello? Nobody is answering me. Yes, 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 yes. Click on yes. continue trial. Now, fine. After 10 days, name, what happens? You uninstall and then reinstall. Fine. Click on the continue trial. Now, if I go there, fine. Now everything has got an icon actually. Fine. I will now open up the first days one. I will now close this flashback pro recorder and close it. And then open up, double click and then open up because they are all having an icon of the flash black, flash black pair. Remember, only for 11 days it will work. Right? Double click on it. Now, what happens? This will be played for you. And again, continue trial. And click on the continue trial. So you'll be able to play it. And every session is one full session. Fine. It is approximately three and a half hours time. Fine. The classroom session. You're performing your hands-on activities and you encountered issue. You come to this forum and within the forum, you have got advanced. It is a three hours and 36 minutes on the right-hand side. Are you able to see it now? Fine. It's approximately three and a half hours. It's an Oracle training. You're able to see Beautiful recording. asked by partners like you. And if you think that your question is getting answered here, uh, no worries. If you think that your questions are not answered, go to new and then. I'm now closing it now. Fine. I'm now closing it. Click on it. So are you all clear on this now about how to run this FBR files? Anybody can say yes to me? Yes. Yes. Um, yes I know. Yeah, any I doubts? don't know what. Okay. Sorry, I have one question on this Raj. So so for the, so the file that you shared here, right? It's for Windows, right? So do you have one for Mac? Uh, oh, Mac, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so now what happens? You go there and then uh, try to find out the Mac exe file. It's not an exe file for you, fine. In the back portion, I don't know what are the okay. FBR for the FBR extension. So, what are the one you have to identify and then you had to install the actually. Okay. Flash, flashback player actually. So, if you go there, okay. flash, flash okay. back player actually. Find the one. Flash black pro five player. Flash okay. Back okay. pro five player. You have to identify with the Mac actually. So, if okay. you find out, please put in the group about how to do it now. Fine. I don't know how to do it in Mac basically. Okay. Thank so you. this one, you now know about what to do it. You got it now. I'll not go to the other documents. Now, what happens? 
uh, if I go on that, open up one of the, let us say, I will now open up the, uh, the uh, what's called the technical records, no? fine, tuition technical records I'm going to open up, fine, double click one. So once when I open it up, what happens, I'm able to see one, two, three, four, et cetera, et cetera. Some of them, after seven, it will be only 10 will be visible, 15 will be visible, 16, like that, what happens, some numbers will be not visible at all, mainly because you'll be having a lot of cookies and junk files, actually. If cookies and junk files are there, what happens, it will not be visible at all. So the first activity is to what? Clean your machine. Then only what happens, all the numbers will be visible. So I'm going to teach you about how to clean the machine, actually. I'm going to teach you about how to clean the machine. So now what I do is I will now go to the control panel. Control panel. So I go to the control panel. And then I will now uninstall a program. I go to the control panel. I'm going to uninstall it. There is a C cleaner program. I'm going to uninstall it. So let me reinstall and then show you. So I already installed it. So I'm now clear. I will now uninstall the one. And check on uninstall. I'm uninstalling the C cleaner actually. So click on next now. <clears throat> uninstall. These guys will be asking money. Fine. But what happens? We can ignore it and then keep on using it actually. If it is repeatedly coming, you uninstall and reinstall. So click on finish. Now it is uninstalled. Now I'm going to reinstall. So let me go there and then search for it. If I click on it, let me go there and then search for it. So I will now say C cleaner. Right? Download. So C cleaner download, I'm going to put. So you have to go to this website of ccleaner.com. Fine. Don't go to any other one. Fine. It may be available in multiple places, basically. Fine. So uh, like what happens, the play.google.com, all these things. Fine. Don't go there. So on the C cleaner website, what happens, you click on it. Fine. Click on the download C cleaner. On the ccleaner.com. Fine. Click on it. So there is one free download is there and then get a pro. So even if you get a free download, it will not keep on reminding you that you have to pay, pay, pay. Fine. If it is a, too much of a nonsense, what happens? You can uninstall it. And then whenever you want it, you can again download and then what happens? Do it now. And click on the free download. I will not click on the free download. So it will not say install in three steps. Fine. Go down, go down, go down, go down. And go down. So what happens? It will be save hard disk drive. Fine. So it's step number one. Run the C cleaner installer. It is not saying you. Fine. Go there. So it's still not coming. Thanks for downloading. It has already, what happens, it has sent you the installer. Fine. I will now go to the download folder. You click on it. So C cleaner setup has now come in the download folder. So let me run it now. So once when you click on it, what happens, the free one, it has now downloaded it. Now. Fine. So let me click on it and I'm going to install it. <clears throat> so click on it. I'm now installing the C cleaner. It is mainly because what happens, the certain files will not be visible at all in your Google Drive. In your normal, when you visit, when you view the Google Drive, it will not be visible at all. Recording is going on now. Can somebody say yes to me? Yes. So yes, things no. must be clear actually. Mm -hmm. Now you have to clean your machine now. Fine. Click on the install. While installation, what happens? It will ask you a lot of nonsense software to be installed. Fine. You have to decline everything. And I'm now installing it. So it now say you run the cleaner, it is now asking you. Fine, click on run. So during which what happens, it will now ask you to install some antivirus. Fine, click on run cleaner. It will be asking you to install certain antivirus actually. So decline those additional softwares. Actually. You are getting the C cleaner ready. C cleaner fear is ready. Fine. Click on continue. I'm not giving a continue now. Fine. It is now asking you, do you want this browser now? Fine. Decline it. So likewise, it will be offering so many offerings as in now and then. So all the offers you decline it. Fine. Do not accept anything at all. Fine. Decline it. Decline all the offers, whatever it is asking for. Start the C cleaner. It may even ask you more now. So it is asking everything you decline it. Now the C cleaner has now come on page. So now here, what happens on the left-hand side, you click on the custom clean. And then you have to close all the browsers. Fine. Your Chrome browser, your Edge browser, your Mozilla browser, and then your Firefox browser, every browser you have to close. And then click on the custom clean. And then click on the analyze button at the bottom. Fine. Click on analyze button. It will analyze. It is now asking you Firefox. Now I'm not closing it because I'm not only demonstrating it. In your case, what happens? Close everything and then run the C cleaner. So give a no. no. Fine. Give a no. I'm not giving a no, whereas you have to give a yes, no. And you have to, you have to close everything. Now it says 57 MB of uh, junk files is there. Fine. Internet cache, cookies, everything, etc., etc. Whatever is there in the returns, everything is there. So click on the run cleaner. It will be cleaning everything. In some cases, what happens, you'll be having in GB also. One GB or two GB of worth of junk will be there. <clears throat> so on the right-hand side, click on the run cleaner. And then click on continue. It will be deleting everything. Fine. It's very safe, actually. <coughs> now I'm not giving no. Whereas you have to give yes, no. You should not have any browsers opened actually. 
adenine. Then afterwards, what happens after having cleaned your machine, you go to the registry on the left hand side <laughs> and then click on the scan for issues. So click on scan for issues. It will now scan everything and then show it to you. So there are two issues are there. In there may be some cases, even 50, 60 issues will be there. So go there. So it is now found two issues. Click on the review selected issues on the right hand side. Click on it. And then it is asking you, do you want to take a backup of this? <laughs> Say no to it. Do not take any backup of this junk section. Give a no to the backup zone. So give a no. And then now fix all the issues. Fix all the issues. It is now fixed point also. So this exercise you had to do by what happens to so closing all the browsers. I have not closed the browser because I am only demonstrating it. In your case, what happens is do not open any browser and close it. And then the C cleaner will be coming as an icon here now. Fine, this place, what happens, we'll be having an icon. In the once when you install it, it'll be coming. Fine. Double click on it. And then once when you start the machine, close all the browsers and then do the custom clean as well as the registry clean. Can anybody say you understood it? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Fine, good. So anybody else? Uh, only one more is coming. What about others? Are you able to understand this uh, process of cleaning? Yeah, no, no. Good. Yes, sir. Yeah, good. Fine. That's good. So now, in this way, what happens? You have to clean your machine. After cleaning it, you restart the machine. Fine. Please restart the machine. Fine. Do this exercise at least once in a week. <laughs> and then since you are on a free version, whenever you are restarting it, what happens? It will ask you to buy. Fine. It will ask you to buy the professional version. Fine. Ignore, ignore, and then do it. If it is too much, what happens? You can even uninstall it. And then whenever you want, you can install and then clean your machine. Fine. You do on your way. So first thing is what? Cleaning. Cleaning is now clear. Okay, fine. So once when you clean and then afterwards come over here, in this place, what happens if you go on and see any of these things now, fine, open it up. You will now find all the numbers coming up. Sometimes even what happens is some numbers will be still not be visible at all. We go there and open up the PM. Okay. So click on it. You see, it's still not visible now. Fine. For me, there is some problem has happened. Fine. I will now close it. I will now close everything and close everything. I will again go to drive.google.com. Drive.google.com. We go there. So go there. I will know what happens. I go to my drive. I have to go to my drive. Whereas you will be going to share with me now. I will now resort it now. I click on it. I will now lost modify. Go there. It's not coming. I will now click on the arrow mark and then bring it to the right side. Find the one. And open it up. Open it up. Now everything is visible actually. Okay. Right. Now I will now again go to the other documents and records. Go other documents and records. Go there. So here numbers are coming in a random manner. So first of all, sort it. Whenever you come over here, and click on the name. And then there is a arrow mark there. Fine. Click on the arrow mark. It gets sorted. Now, what happens if you open up my, what happens if I will open up my technical records. Now, if I click on technical records. So, technical records, what happens if you now see up to 20 are there. So, let me show you in my system. Now, if I click on it, I go there. I will open it up. I will open it up. Fine. Go to other documents and records. Technical, right click and then see the properties. So it is approximately 4 GB in size. So the system does the, what happens, the download in parts actually, right? 1.8 GB or 1.9 GB, it will not do. So what happens, when I download this, it will be downloading it in three zip files actually. Right? Let me download and show it to you. I'm going to download and show it to you. So it has got records from 1 to 20 actually. So once when I give a download, what happens, it will be downloading in 1.8 GB or 1.9 GB in one zip file. And then Afterwards, what about it will now go in three zip files actually. Is it clear? Anybody can say yes to me? This food go on. So go there. So I'll now go back on the any doubt? Yes, you go there. I will not right click on the download. It is now 4 GB in size. Fine. Right click on the download. So download. What happens? First of all, it will now do the zipping actually. In the right hand side bottom, you can now see that it is not doing a zip actually. So once when the zip is completed, then what happens? It will now automatically start to download. In the meantime, what happens, you should make the download automatic actually. I will not go there, fine, click on it. I will not click on that dot, dot, dot icon on the right hand side, fine. I go to the settings. I go to the dot, dot icon on the, on the right hand side, click on the settings. So in this one, dot, dot icon, settings, and then in the left hand side, you click on the downloads. There, you choose your location for the download by changing it if you want. <laughs> Otherwise, leave the default as such. Fine, location you can change. The download location you can change. Dot dot icon settings and then download on the left hand side. And then ask where uh, where to save each and each file before downloading. 
it will give no to it. Fine. I do not want the system to ask me at all. Let it download automatically onto this. No. Fine. Make it as no, no. This one had to be off. No. Show downloads when they are done. Make it as on. No. So this is off and then this is on. And if required, you have to change. Is it clear on the download area? Ask is no. You should not ask anything. It should automatically download. Anybody can say yes to me. Oh God, nobody is answering. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. It is clear. It is clear now. Fine, So this ask is no, and then show is yes, and then if you want to change, you can change by settings downloads. Now what happens in this place? I've already given this. No, fine, that. So it must have. It has already what happens? Zipped it, and then you can see in the top the download is happening. The download is happening. Fine, download is happening. So go there. So I can even go to the download folder and have a look at it. Fine, go there. So you click on the dot dot dot. And then you go to the downloads now because it does not ask anything after zipping it. What happens? One file has already got what happened downloaded. So this one is 1.3 GB. 1.3 GB. The balance is missing. Now three files are getting downloaded for the <coughs> Fusion Technical. Fine. Zip 001, 002, 003. So now what you have to do is you have to uh, what happens? Unzip and then collate. I'll teach you about how to unzip and collate. Many people doesn't know the basics and so what happens? They suffer like anything. So that is not visible. This is not visible. That is not coming properly, Barbara. Because people doesn't know about how to operate the Google Drive actually. <clears throat> so now everything is now done. It's all there. So go there. So here, what happens? You go there. I will open up the folder. I'm click on the folder. So there are three files are there. Let me take a copy of them. I mean, I won't take it already. And then put on my area. I click on it. I'll now go to this place. Fine. I will now open up this. I will now open up the other documents and records. And then here itself, let me paste it. I am pasting it. These three zip files. So now I am going to teach you about how to unzip and then collate. <coughs> First of all, install 7-zip. 7-zip is the best unzip you load here. You go there. You go to 7-zip. 7-zip. Find download. 7-zip is the best unload utility. You go to the 7-zip.org itself directly. Right? So you click on this org. You to click on it. What happens? It will now show you a 64-bit version and then click on download and then install it. 7-zip is the best utility. Fine. WinRAR is not that good, but 7-zip is excellent. So install it. Fine. Download and then install and then restart the machine. Download, install and then restart. Fine. You, you open. Is it clear? 7-zip. Downloading and installing is clear. I am not doing it fine because it's a very simple one. You can download and then install. Anybody can see yes, it? Yes, ma'am. So go there. So close it now. So I have done it. Now I am going to what? Unzip it now. Fine. I will not choose the 001. Fine. Right click and then you go to 7 zip. This will be coming only when you install it and then extract files. Extra. Uh, I think Nana, we can select the three files at the time. We, if we can, uh, yeah, you can, you can try. If you are an expert, what happens? You can try many, many things. No, fine. I don't say this is the only method. Fine. If you are an expert, you can even select all and do it. No, so, so I'm it is going to create a one parent folder. Whatever it is, fine. If you are an expert, you do on your own way. Fine. You need not have to listen yeah. to this at all. <laughs> <laughs> it's only for the no ways actually. Fine. Zero zero one is now installed. I'll now go there. Right click and then seven zip, and then extract files. If you are an expert, you don't listen to this at all. You do in whichever fashion you want. But 7-zip is a good one. Instead of WinRAR, what happens is this is an excellent unzip utility actually. You may even have a better one. If you're using it, then use it. 7-zip and then extract. So now I have unzipped everything. Now what I'm going to do is I will now paste the 2 and 3 into 1 actually. I will open up 2 now. I will open up this. I will now select all with the control A and then take a copy of it. Go back one level. Fine. I'm not taking a copy of it. What happens? I will now go back one level. Go back one level. I will now open up the 01, 001, open it up and then paste it on this place. There is no overlapping because all the contents are different actually. It is now done. Similarly, I will now take a copy from the third one now. Fine. Third one, I will now open it up. Open up the third one. <coughs> Open up the third one. Open up the third one. Fine. Take a copy of it. There's only one file there. Go up. Go up. And then open it up. Open it up. And then paste it. Now everything is ready actually. Now I'll now go back here. And then coming here again. Fine. Check 1 to 20. Everything is here. 
one, two, three, four, five, everything is there. So this is my technical file. And go there. So what I will do is I will not take a copy of it. Fine, take over it. I will not go back on level. So in this place, what happens? I am not going to paste it. Fine, that one I am going to paste it from. Wherever you want. Wherever you want, you paste it. And then here, what happens? I will not go there. So this is the one now, fine. So if you open it up, it's not there. So you know, downloaded the 03 Fusion Technical 2023. You can keep it wherever you want, actually. Is it clear? Can somebody say yes to me? But how to download and then collate? You may yes, have ma one guy was saying yeah. that what happens is the three files put together, I can even unzip it. Fine. If you want, you do it in whatever fashion. Well, ultimately, what happens, the numbers must be visible, actually. Fine. Do it. Whichever way is convenient for you. I'm not deleting it. I don't want it. So I'm not deleting it. <laughs> Is approximately 3.65 there. You're not going to delete it actually. Go there. So it's not getting deleted. Now we'll not come back to the drive actually. So likewise, what happens? Everything, every each and every folder, right click and download. If you go to the other documents and records, it will be 30 GB. Fine. Here you don't right click and then download. Don't do this now. Fine. It becomes a very complex one actually. Some experienced guys will now directly download this link. It's approximately 30 GB, and then it will now run into, let us say, 30 or 40 zip files. And then unzipping and uncollating will become a very big issue, very big problem. If you're not a, what happens, a good person on doing it, what happens, you'll be landing up in a problem. So what happens, what you do is you go there, and then each and every folder, there are nine, eight folders are there, everything you right click, and then what happens, you download. Is it clear on the other documents and records? Yeah, no. Got it. Fine. Some only one or two guys. There are forty or there. Yeah, one, yeah, no, no. Speaking, good, good. Others, please speak now. Fine. If you don't speak, it will be very difficult for me to understand that. Oh God, you are following or not? I am. I am now getting a doubt. Okay. Now, what happens? The documentation for this now. Fine. You go to the SCM documentation dumps there. So you download like this. What happens? You download all these folders one by one. So in the SCM documentation, in the other docs and records, we have one SCM documentation dumps. Fine. Double click on it. Open it up. So I am opening it up. So this is a word file actually. <coughs> You'll be having a link here. So take a copy of the SCM documentation. Right? Take copy of it. And then put it on a separate URL. <coughs> SCM documentation dumps is a word file. And then take a copy of the link and then paste it on. And then here also what happens on the name. <coughs> you sort now. Fine. You sort. Sort. You can keep it. So each and every folder, right click and then download. In a similar fashion. Fine, go there. So we'll be having plenty of things are there. Fine. Record. Additional loss records. One to six are there. Fine, go there. All SEM worksheets are there. EBIS documentation is there. Fine. So there are so much of a useful material available. So these all these things, which is the icon are all folders actually. This is a only fine actually. This is only fine. So this is also having a link for all the FBDA imports. So this way you can download the documents of, for, for, of my complete documentation. This is now my complete documentation. Complete SEM documentation. Is it clear? Anybody can say yes to me? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. So this is one. And then this is the how to, this is also this is again a YouTube video actually. Fine. Now there is no need to listen because we already seen this video actually. So if you go to the main one. So here, what happens, they're all not big actually. Fine. Only 500, 600 MB. Fine. That you right click and download. It'll all be getting downloaded very fast. In the main one. Only in other documents and records will be having a lot of issues. The simple worksheet. So this is how you have to download your G drive now. So here, what happens if you see this one? This itself will be approximately 15 GB in size. You see your documentation, right? So here, uh, so 31 plus 15 is 45 GB plus actually. So it will take approximately one week to two weeks. And then at a leisurely time, what happens? You keep on downloading it. And then you have to download everything before 15th of July. If you don't do it beyond before 15th of July, then you have to pay an additional access fee of 1000 and then what happens, access it beyond 15th of July. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Fine. Yes, no, no. Good, then fine. So any other questions from anybody else actually? So this is how you have to download. Fine. I have not told you everything about the complete thing what has been shared. Nothing from my side. Anybody else has got doubt on this now? No, 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 I'm clear. No, no, no. Good, then fine. And then if you still have doubts, what happens? You write to me. And then if you're getting stuck, you write to me. 
not on the group actually if find any problems you write to my whatsapp number and then uh, generic questions what happens you can uh, write in the group actually <laughs> yep so okay, normally man. the first session has to uh, what happens to go up to seven o'clock six to seven but uh, now what happens uh, this is the intro session and then it is now completed so i will not take a break now itself <clears throat> so what i will do is i will not make some of you as what co-host know <laughs> I will not make co host now. So that what happens, uh, you will be, you, you don't leave now, fine. So if you leave it, what happens, uh, uh, the meeting gets closed actually. So I'm now making some of you as a co host now. Ankit also, I'm now making as a co host now. So I will now make four of you as a co host. Uh, I'll say Deepak. That's why I'm now making it as a co host now. So there are four co hosts are available here. Please don't leave. So the meeting will be there. I will be going for a coffee break and then I will now come back and then we will now begin the next, the first session rather, the first relay training session from 7 p.m. India. <laughs> Is that clear? Yep. So okay. You can remain here or you can also go for a coffee and come back. Whichever way is convenient for you, you can do it now. Fine. So the first session yep. of the training will now begin at, 11, at 7 p.m. India. Okay. Then. It's all clear. Anybody can say yes to me. Can you uh, put a green? Oh, yeah. The bottom yes. whatever, in the reaction screen, can you put a green tick now? You don't see how many of you understood it actually. In the, very good, excellent. No? And so many green ticks are available now. Fine. The reaction screen, you can put a green tick now. Any doubts? Talk to me. Fine. Because from Monday to Friday also, I'll be available only in the house now. Fine. I'm not going. I'm a retired man. Fine. <laughs> So I will now leave and then come back by 7 p.m. India. Okay. You remain. Okay, you remain here itself. I will not. I will now leave and then come back. Yeah.